the impact of 2020 on the most vulnerable people in the supply chain across the globe has been devastating. Massive retailers canceling massive, massive orders after that they after they had already been produced. I mean, we have, there are billions of dollars in fashion goods that went unsold in 2020. And frankly, a, a huge percentage of those goods were already made by, you know, global manufacturing and producing partners, and then we're not paid for, right? Well, who do you think pays for that? People that pay for that is in the supply chain who are already some of the most vulnerable and marginalized folks in, in the entire world, right? And so when crisis hits, the vulnerable and the marginalized become more vulnerable and more marginalized. And that became such a rallying cry for our community is like, we're going to do things differently. We're not canceling orders. We're making sure everybody stays paid if and when it's necessary that they stay home to stay safe. Like we're going to continue to take care of everyone in our supply chain. And we were able to rally our community around that. But as leaders, we have to know that you can't make that up in the moment. Like it doesn't purpose does not work if it's not authentic. And so I really do believe that like one of the ways that we safeguard our organizations and we build robust engagement in communities today is by thinking about how how today do I start building that in in an authentic part of my business so that a year from now two years from now five years from now a decade from now they're totally inextric inextricably linked and if you do that it's such a long-term play but if you do that and you invest today into building that sense of purpose and impact and we're a part of something that matters I truly believe, that that is one of the things that saved, not only saved our company, but catapulted us during this crisis, right? Like not only did we not have to lay off a single member of our global production and manufacturing team, we actually grew our employment like pretty significantly during this year. Every member of our team on the production side across the world um, had continued access to their salary, to healthcare, to their benefits, even when our manufacturing and production was shut down, which is like wild. It's so unheard of. And I don't believe we would have been able to do that had we not had this like, this was not the first time my community had heard me say, hey, we're a part of a global community and we get to show up and do work that matters, right? It was the 1000th time that I had told them that, um, but now it created this new sense of energy and urgency and this rallying cry that really catapulted our community forward. Mm -hmm.